Even if you have no desire at all to buy my program, this video can be very beneficial for you because I'm mapping out what you need skill-wise to go from being a manual or a human tester to being a automation tester or SDET, which stands for Software Developer Engineer in Test. So either way, take out a pen and paper, take some notes, if you want to one day be an automation engineer. In the world of QA, software testing, the greater your skill set, the more marketable you are. The more marketable you are, the more possibilities and opportunities you can pursue throughout your career. Now, let's dive in. First off, if you know me, I am not some scammy sales guy. I'm not going to say that this course is some magic pill that'll make you go from making $10 an hour to making $200,000 in the next seven days. No, I'm not going to mislead you in that way. There are people who do that. That's on them. That's why you'll never see an ad for anything that I sell. If you buy something from me, I want you to know me as a person, my credentials, and my goals. My goals are for you to get a job and then excel in your career. Not for quick fixes. I'm helping you through your career. Career is a journey. Not one night, not a week. No, it's a journey. And this course is the same way. So if you want a quick fix, scammy magic course that's going to just turn your life around in 24 hours, I'm sorry. This isn't it. This is an advanced course. Before taking it, you should already have the manual or human testing skill set. You should be able to write test cases, do all testing documentation, know about test plans, use tools like Jira, TestRail, or any other project management or test management software. You should know what front-end testing is. You should know what UIs, GUIs. You should know about bug reports and all the basics of manual or human testing. That's the prerequisites. Now let's talk about the skill set that you're going to need to go from being a manual tester to an automation tester. Programming languages. At the core of automation lies coding and programming languages. This is how we as human beings can communicate with the computer. We are going to use programming languages to write code that the computer can then understand and then act on. For this course, and what I suggest to anybody learning the skill set, Python. Python is a very simple programming language. It's very similar to the English language. It's the easiest to learn by far, and it's also very dynamic. So this course will first teach you about learning Python. Later on in the course, in future editions, because with this course, you pay once, keep it forever. In future editions, we're going to talk about JavaScript and other languages. But for right now, we're focusing on Python. Next, the course will go over front-end and back-end testing. What are front-end and back-end testing? Front-end testing. Think about any website or any game that you ever played. The screen that's being shown to you, that's the GUI, graphical user interface, or UI, user interface. We will write code to test different GUIs or UIs in front-end testing. And to do so, you use tools like Selenium. Selenium will be the first tool taught in the course. And if you're going the self-taught route by yourself, I suggest you learn Selenium as well. Once again, whether you take the course or not, 
I'm making this video to help you transition into the automation world. So first we spoke about learning how to do Python. Next, learning about Selenium. In the course, we'll discuss what Selenium is, how to use it, and then getting hands-on experience of you writing code for Selenium scripts. There are also other front-end tools that will be added later on, like Cypress or Catalyne Studio. Next, we have back-end testing. So front-end is what customers see when they visit a website or application. That screen, that's the front-end. The back-end is what happens behind the scenes. When you press a button on a website, the back-end does magic in the background to make that button press actually do something. As automation testers, we're gonna test the back end as well. We're gonna talk about API testing and discuss how to automate API testing. First, we'll do it by using things like PyTest and our Python code. Then we're gonna talk about how to test APIs using a tool called Postman, which most companies use for API testing today. The other part of backend testing is databases, tables, and SQL. Databases store information. Tables are like little containers to section off and organize the information. And SQL is how you interact with the different tables and databases. So we're gonna talk about how to actually run and create SQL commands. So that's our front end and back end testing. We're also going to talk about performance testing, which will be added at a later date. We're going to talk about tools like JMeter and things of that nature, but that's extra that will be added later on. So we've talked about learning how to code, learning how to do front end testing, back end testing, using different tools. And now you have the basic skill set of an automation tester or SDET. Now we're gonna talk about building your portfolio. There are gonna be projects with video walkthroughs that you'll follow to help you get hands-on experience with actually using the tools and technologies that you're gonna use in the real world. You're gonna follow these videos and then create projects for your portfolio. Your portfolio will demonstrate your skill set to potential employers. You'll then link your portfolio to your LinkedIn profile and resume. Speaking of which, you have your LinkedIn profile and resume that we're also gonna help you with. There will be a template for your resume. There will also be suggestions on how to improve and use your LinkedIn profile efficiently because your resume and LinkedIn profile are the first ways that potential employers get to see you. So it's important that you're making the best first impression on recruiters or potential employers looking to hire you. And last but not least, you have your skill set, you have your resume, LinkedIn, then we have interview preparation. And we can go over possible interview questions, talking about Python, front-end, back-end testing, different tools, soft skills, hard skills, and everything you need to know and possibly may see in an interview. Once again, it's a pay once, keep forever. There'll be additions throughout the year that'll be added as extra information for you to learn, new tools, new languages, and so on. So as the industry changes, things will be added. That way your skill set is staying up to date. So whether you actually join the course or not, use this information as a guideline and template for your transition from the manual world to the automation world. I outlined everything you need to know. So if you can't afford it, just try to learn on your own. Like I said, I'm not gatekeeping saying that this course is a must need, it's a magical pill to change your life. 
No, it's gonna help you get the skill set of an automation tester. It's not magic. You have to still put in the hard work to actually learn it, comprehend it, and understand it good enough to actually get hired by companies for doing it. With this course, you also get access to a private email. So if you have any questions, if you're confused about anything in the course regarding material, you can access it to the private email address. So if you're brand new to the world and have no experience or knowledge about manual testing, there will also be a bundle to get both the manual and automation together at a high discounted price. As always, if you need help on your software testing journey, check out my website, thetestinglead.com. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below. And most importantly, don't forget this, learn something new today.